Hello guys, I'm Mungai Ip here. I know most of you guys have been waiting uh, for this particular moment. I've been seeing you guys on my DMs, on my emails, all over trying to reach out to me and I don't take it for granted. And first of all, I'd like to thank God uh, for this far. I'd like to thank him for the gift he has given me. Why it's not for this gift, I wouldn't be able to be where I am today. Secondly, I'd like to thank Mungai Eve team, uh, Mungai Eve followers for always being there for me, for supporting me since day one. Uh, way back when I started the content creation journey, you've been there, you've supported me, you've always fought the battles for me. I really thank God uh, for you guys. And I'm here to tell you guys that uh, at any point in life, you should never be afraid of starting over again. And I believe in this journey, we are going to walk together because we have amazing, amazing uh, plans for you all. We are going to create uh, more content with the aim of inspiring you out there and also empowering you guys to make a difference. <music> So guys, I welcome you to Mungai Eve's show and our very first guest is an incredible creator that we have in 254. Of course, uh, some people say he is very controversial. I don't know about you guys. Uh, we've but crossed, you say that. You we've, say that. we've crossed yeah. paths before, yeah. but today is the day we have him uh, as our first guest on our show. And I don't know how it's going to be. So let's get started. Keep it but high. you said I am the controversial one. Uh -huh. I was going to say some people. I said, because yeah. I so was okay, feeling so, uh, that way at that point. So what were you feeling at that point? Let's go there. Uh -huh. yeah. why, why did you say I'm controversial? What have I said? That... But Kibbe, this is my show. I'm, I'm the one to run it. Run what? The show. This is a show? Yes. I thought it was just a conversation. Uh -huh. No, but I have the questions that... Uh... Oh, so you have questions? Uh -huh. Ah, okay, okay. Let's go through your questions. First. <laughs> uh, I, I got questions as well. All right, all right. Okay, uh -huh. run the show. Okay. For, for, forgive my uh, interruption. Uh, so, uh, so, guys, the reason I called uh, Kibe as my first guest is because uh, he's one of the creators who we've seen start over and over again. He never gets tired of starting. And, yeah, I'm also starting all over again. Kibe, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. You talk, talk to me. Uh, how, how do you feel starting? Ah, uh, how fresh? Do, I feel fresh, mm. and it's something that I've always wanted to do, but I was afraid to start over again. on your own. Yes. So is this your own production and everything? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you're <coughs> the real Mungaiv. Yes. <laughs> so is I'll, it Eve Mungai or Mungaiv? It's Mungaiv. Why did you start with Mungai and not? Okay. I was just a I love brand. It. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I love it that way. Anyway, Kibe, let's go back see, to... You're, you're running away. Why are you running away from me? I'm not running away. Why are you running? <laughs> no, I'm not running away. I'm okay. just running my show. Okay, run your show then. Let's continue. Huh? Uh -huh. You've asked me mm. how I feel uh, starting over again. I would like to know. Uh, of course, we've seen you uh, come from mainstream media to a uh, digital uh, space. How was it for you as you started to started over again? But you know, it's not it's not like starting over again. That's the thing. You guys, you see it as starting over, but it's just the next thing to do. Yeah. It's always the next thing to do. Like now for you, when whatever happened with you happened, I mean, the next thing to do is go out on your own and do something. It's the next thing to do. So it's, people see it as starting over because everybody believes we're all dying. Mm -hmm. It's all death. Come and say, we break up and I'm to say, you make isha. It's not death. It is the next thing to do. Mm -hmm. Simple. Okay. So for me, I never see it as starting afresh. It's just always one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. mm. So your transition from mainstream media to digital space, is it something that you had planned or it just came all over? But I was actually on the digital space first. Okay. So when I gave up on... Um, you see, like now when I was growing up, we really, I, I really thought that I would get an opportunity to be on radio or TV. So I had my interviews, I had my demos, I had a studio, I had a demo, I had a fix. It was everything. And I would send this demo to Capital FM or Metro FM or whoever, Kiss. Mm -hmm. I went to Kiss when they started, uh, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. when they started a Kiss like this. And I gave them my demo and I did a whole demo in there and they never gave me the job. So I got frustrated because nobody was recognizing me. And in my head, I'm this talented guy who can knock out any show. And I'm like, fuck these puny people to hell with them. And I started doing uh, uh, social media. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. So one step in front of the other. I was on social media. I got recognition on social media. Mm -hmm. Then that's when Energy called me and told me they want to give me a job. Mm -hmm. Then that's when Keys came and poached me from Energy. Yeah. So it was just one thing after the other. Mm -hmm. And then when I stayed in corporate uh, uh, longer, I realized I don't like corporate. Mm -hmm. So I, I went back to something that is comfortable to me. Okay. Mm. Is it you who don't like corporates or I just don't believe in their, maybe their way of working things? I think corporate's time is done when it comes to entertainment. Yeah. Their time is done because the corporate was, um, was like the gatekeeper. They're the ones who decide how your content is going to look, mm -hmm. how it's going to sound, how it's going to be. So once you take their money, you're their bitch. So I, was, I didn't like that mm -hmm. because I wanted to remain creative. So, so corporate and I have never seen eye, eye to eye, even though they wanted me to do the job. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so at, at no point you've ever done anything when it comes to corporate? No, I mean, there are a lot of things I've done. I mean, remember I worked at Energy for a year and I worked at um, Kiss for a whole year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm actually a very, very, uh, what do you call it? Somewhat very easy to work with. So I know my boundaries, I know everything. So it's not that I have a problem with corporate. I just have, uh, I have a problem with the people who are running corporate. Let me say that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so after mm -hmm. you left uh, Kiss, I'd like to know, like, how was it for you? Of course, there were so many conversations that uh, you went broke. Uh, you couldn't be able to sustain your lifestyle. Maybe is it something that you can talk about? No, I mean, what lifestyle? Lifestyle, I understand your lifestyle. Yeah, you a pesa I didn't have a lifestyle. I've never really had a lifestyle that I cannot maintain. I'm just always living within my means. Mm -hmm. So even when I left there, what do you mean broke? What What was I getting? What was I getting that now we can say I'm from here to here? I never moved houses. I remained in the same house I was living in while I was at Energy. Yeah, I continued living in that house while I was at Kiss. I I am not extravagant. I don't buy, if you see me like this, the next hot interview you'll see me, I'll probably be looking the same. So I don't waste money buying nonsense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so mostly I, where do you spend your money at on? On my children. Okay. Yeah, I have two kids that I spend all my money on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so before you get kids, gentlemen, if you're listening to me, please just pour on her back. <laughs> These kids are fucking crazy, man. So yeah, so I spend my money on my kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. I okay. don't have any other place I spend my money on. Okay, when no. you were on mainstream, you worked with different people. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, you worked with Kamene, mm -hmm. uh, Extian Della. And then when you came... Who is Extian? Have you, have you ever interviewed Extian? He, he talked to me recently. He's, he's around. I don't know. Uh-uh. 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 Mm -hmm. You'll be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So talking of Extian and mm -hmm. Kamene, there are people that you've worked with closely before. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, also, especially Kamene, it's somebody who may call Kim Pigia Sana Abakom Tandao. Maybe you can tell us how was your uh, how was your relationship when you guys were working together? I mean, we're just working together. What relationship? Mm -hmm. Why do you guys get carried away with this bullshit? Mm -hmm. We're just working together. And, uh, even Eric here right now, Eric Akifanya Blanda. How many times have I talked about you? Many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even you. How many times have I talked about you? A lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of I've enjoyed talking about you. <laughs> a lot. You've really <laughs> yeah. enjoyed. Yes, yes, I, I love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's just a working relationship like any other because before that we didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what what, what compromises is that because we've worked with you, we can talk with you when you jing at his town there. You sign shauriyako ba. Mm -hmm. So I've, I talk about anybody. I talk about my mom, my dad, my sisters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, so there's, there's no relationship beyond mm, the working the work. together. Yes. The content is always uh, my king. So I go for the content. Mm. It doesn't matter who it is. Even for your friends, you just. Even my them. dad. Uh -huh. Yes. If my dad fucks up, uh, he has to be on the chopping block. Mm. So, mm. how much do you believe in this content? I mean, this is what feeds me. It is, this is what you do. It's like when you become a fighter. You can't go in there and fight half-half. You're going to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to believe in what you're doing. Like now, what you're doing, you believe that 
Mungaiv is a brand and you can be able to resurrect that brand from the whatever happened the other day. Mm -hmm. And now look at you, having invested in this and come here, here and uh, you know putting yourself out there. So do you, don't you believe in this? I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able, you, you are willing to kill anybody who tries to fuck this up. Yes. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who, right? Yeah. Yeah, so content is key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we focus on the content. Okay. Yes. So uh, let's talk about you now being uh, on YouTube space mm. and creating. You've been creating a lot on YouTube until when your accounts were terminated. Is mm. it something that uh, you had planned for and you decided that you're going to concentrate on YouTube or it just happened because you moved to the States? Oh, no. So in, in my mind, I, I became... How would I put it? I started thinking, you know what? We need our own platform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because these platforms, every now and then you get a copyright strike yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And it could be a, a stupid reason. So I started thinking. So one day, I was, as I was driving my Mercedes Benz S550. Where is it, by the way? Yeah, it's back in the States. S550! Mm, you left yeah, it. Yeah, I left <laughs> it, man. I'm, I'm going to find a way to bring it here. So as I was driving it, mm. um, the, you know, I was playing my songs, I have a whole playlist, you know. So an idea came to me and I said, well, you know what, why not Africa? Why not Africa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why, can't, why do we have to depend on these people to give us everything? Mm -hmm. So that's how the idea of the Africa came about. Mm -hmm. So I started building the Africa while I was still on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even know that I would get kicked out of YouTube. Mm -hmm. I, it was maybe a, a, a very puny idea in my head that one day, Mm. Yeah, so I started building it three months before I was kicked out of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how is it right now? Cause it's, a, it's a wonderful platform. We are we're just about to sign a, a very big deal. Mm -hmm. And um, that will take us to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're about to sign. We got some investors. So things are really looking up for us. Okay. Yes, because it's a big platform and it's very expensive to run. So that's why I even came back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, before we go ahead on uh, Africa, I'd mm. like to know what was the main reason that you got kicked out of YouTube? I, I will never know. Is I it not know. because of the maybe uh, the, the community guidelines? No, but community guidelines, even when you have a video over mm -hmm. you on you, You've been on YouTube? Yes. Would you have 3,000 videos in a community guidelines? No. Yeah, so it's just, and I didn't have a copyright strike at mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to give you three. It's supposed to be three. Yes. And then so on the third one, then they terminate you. Yes. Yeah. And if you appeal even the copyright strikes, sometimes they take them back. And mm -hmm. they're supposed to tell you where the copyright strike has come from. They just don't kill your channel. So you didn't get any copyrights? I was asleep mm -hmm. after doing my show. Okay. I woke up and I was trending. So I didn't have a copyright strike. Mm -hmm. Not one. You're supposed to get three. So I woke up and all my channels... Even the ones that are not monetized yet. Mm -hmm. But there was information that was put up on that, from that Google mm, that what? Uh, you had gone against the community guidelines. On all my platforms? You were, after you were, sto you were told to, uh, you know, when you get a strike or a community guidance strike, you're supposed to but there was stop no st uploading. But there was no strike. Mm -hmm. So I cannot, they, they don't tell you stop uploading. They restrict you from uploading. Yes. So there's no communication between you and Google. It's just that they, 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 as soon as they realize that there's, a, that there's a strike, they say for the next two weeks, you cannot upload. Mm -hmm. I had uploaded, I had done a show, a live show mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'd done a live show. I went to sleep, woke up, and not just one, all my uh, six uh, channels, mm -hmm. all six, including two that I had not monetized, mm -hmm. have been uh, brought down. Mm. Why? Copyright strike is on this video. It's one video, it's one uh, copyright strike on this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't bring down a whole channel and bring out. So anything that was connected to that channel was brought down. Mm -hmm. yes. And looking at the content that you are creating, mm. the language that you are using, uh, don't you think maybe at any point uh, you are going against the guidelines? Ah, uh, no, but they don't have a problem with language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people use language there all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so around the world, they don't have no problem with language. So, in fact, what they do, if they really have a problem with you, they demonetize you. Yes. Yeah, they just tell you you're not going to make any more money here. They don't close your channel. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, how, why close six channels? So, it was a very malicious thing that somebody did. And I think you and your friends are the ones who were involved in that shit. 
you guys came okay. together in a cabal. At that time, you still had a boyfriend, mm. and you guys came together <laughs> in a cabal, and then you decided so to So you believe to go. somebody was behind it? Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, not just one person. I believe a lot of people looked at it and were very jealous that I was doing very well. Mm -hmm. How uh, much were you making? A lot of money. Come on. Like a how? lot of money. Oh, pff, a lot. A, a lot of money. How much? I mean, I, one channel was probably giving me $10,000 every month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you believe uh, people did that to you? Yes, of course. Uh, you can't. It just doesn't happen by itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I believe that some people who were either jealous enough or whatever it is that they saw, mm -hmm. um, maybe the people that I talked about, mm -hmm. they realized that we can't have this guy out there giving all this information and being so free with his language. So like, uh, like for this video, you're going to have to eat it on your channel. No. And you're afraid of uh, being uh, copyright stricken. Okay. You see I what know I mean? about copyright. Uh, yes. So it's not about language. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just that some, some people sat down and they thought it best to... Some very powerful people. Mm -hmm. Very powerful people because... Talking for, of powerful you, people, do for, you for mean you, politicians? Are, sorry? Talking of powerful people. No, no. Maybe, maybe the, the corporate feminists. Okay. Yeah, the lesbians. Mm -hmm. Yes, these corporate feminists who are... Who, who feel attacked every time I talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. And uh, the other puny uh, celebrities in our country. Mm -hmm. It's punies. The ones who kept threatening me, including mm -hmm. your ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> because they did threaten me mm -hmm. because of what I said about them. Why? And, 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 they, and they said that we're going to do something to you. So when that happened, I was like, I have a list of puny people to assassinate. Mm -hmm. Yes. And by any chance, uh, maybe, have you ever gotten, uh, of course, there are so many celebrities that you've talked about. Mm. They used to say, oh, they're going to sue, uh, sue you. Once you land here, you're going mm. to be arrested. You're going to get the letters and everything. By any chance, have you ever gotten, uh, or are you sued by any? For what? For an opinion? Mm -hmm. How stupid would one person be? Mm -hmm. You can't sue me for my opinion. So we can say all of them are just threats. I mean, which, which, uh, which courthouse is going to grant you Anything to sue somebody because of something they say mm -hmm. that's madness, mm -hmm. yeah. So, if I say if Mungai is full of shit, mm -hmm. which courthouse are you going to go say, Hey, he said I'm full of shit? Mm -hmm. so you have to explain what does it mean when you say you're full of shit, mm -hmm. in which language was it delivered, you know. So, there's a lot behind it. So, um, in fact, I met uh, the donkey, one of your favorite people, yeah. Yes, so yeah, I was not with him, I was yeah. interviewing. Babu Owino. Oh, so you are, you are not with KFG? No, why would I be that, that puny fucker? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you he, he's, a, he's, he's a nobody. Why would I interview him? So he, we were doing an interview, and then he forced his way into the room. Mm -hmm. Right? And then he says, Ah, Kibi, I just want just a, a small interview. And I was like, I, I don't have the energy for you. I, I don't believe you're somebody, not yet, maybe. Maybe one day he's going to get there. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe I should sit down with him for anything. What does he have? Okay, and the day you landed, you saw him say that uh, you are a coward. He waited to exchange words with you or maybe a fight at the Why? airport. Why? Who is he? Happen. I don't even know a single song that he has sung. So who is he? Mm -hmm. What has he done that me and him have any type of beef? Mm -hmm. Nothing. And he lied about me many times, mm -hmm. including uh, saying that I, I molested my sister. Mm -hmm. you remember you did that interview yeah, did yes that. Mm -hmm. and I was like why they, they, I mean, it's very easy to find out if that's my real sister mm -hmm. so why didn't you do that Eve why didn't you as a journalist go find out is that really my sister mm -hmm. because you were pushing that story yeah so why didn't you find out I'll go well, why, why, why not have some responsible journalism mm -hmm. and don't just take one side of the story find out is this really Kibe's sister mm -hmm. because everybody including that other fucker called Sonko Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I looked at these people, I'm like, yours goes beyond this back and forth content uh, game. Yours has some malice behind it. Mm -hmm. there's, uh, there's a malicious intent. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. you, but you're the one who started exchanging words with uh, KRG. No, I've just made fun of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, when you do something stupid on online, we come and make fun of that. If you don't come on, like these people here, I've never mentioned them. Mm -hmm. Because they're not online. They're not on my radar. Mm -hmm. But once you, you go online, and you do something that I, I, I think is worth uh, noting, then we talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like that time when you were talking about the dining table. Oh, no, okay, now I see this. So it, <laughs> it's just entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you catch feelings, 
you're in the wrong profession. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you've always taken, uh, you've always assumed that everybody is going to take it as entertainment. You're in the game of entertainment. So if you catch feelings, then you're in the wrong game. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time I've talked about people. Mm -hmm. From the time, even before I got on radio, I used to talk about everybody. Everybody. There's even a video I did about Uhuru Kenyatta one day and I was told mm. uh, they're going to cut me up and throw me in Tana River. Mm. <laughs> so I better pull down the video. Mm -hmm. That so is the only... Pull that is, I've pulled down two videos in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. That was the first one. Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh -huh. uh, and the second one was when... Uh, remember when Menje gave her body count story? Mm -hmm. When that she was... talked about how many people she slept with. Mm -hmm. And that one. Because at the time, remember, I was working at Energy Radio. Yes. So they called me from Energy and they said, pull down that video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was like they are going to say, okay, you pull down the video, ma, I'll pull down. You to pay to Energy, you to Mungu Wangu, you to make fun of video. I was compromised. That's why I don't like corporate at all. Uh -huh. Yes. So you mm. only pulled down two videos? Only two videos. Mm. I don't pull down videos. Uh, whatever happens, happens. Uh -huh. uh, talk and talk, that's not funny. You don't have yeah. anything else. Yeah, I mean, and if you make a mistake, you've made a mistake. Like there's a chick um, in, in the US. I got some uh, some false information. And I really went hard on her because she looked like a chick I'd wanted to fuck. And <laughs> <laughs> eh. uh -huh. so I went hard on her, but I was hard. Ah, this chick is. Nee, nee, nee. But it was just content. So when I got to find out the real truth, it was not, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I, I made a blunder with that one. So when I met her, now I met her at a bash. So to, to make her a bash, she, chick walks in, and I'm like, fuck, man, now I have to deal with this puny shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at that time, I, I apologized to her, and I told her, I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm willing to say it on video. Mm -hmm. It's a name, Mac Fries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, so it's a game just like any other. Okay. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So even when YouTube did what they did, to me, I considered it um, direction to the next thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So with the Kenyan celebrities that mm. you've talked to, now that you've been here in Kenya, are mm. they people that you've maybe met uh, when you're here? Ama Abado and do you think? No. Uh, uh, and do I think? Uh, there are people, if you say, Mawezi let a KRG, you cannot have a conversation with KRG. Do you think there are some of the I, I find, yeah, I find KRG to be super immature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't, I don't see a value to sitting with him. Mm -hmm. how, yeah. do you, how do you look uh, at a person to know that maybe it's somebody who can give you value? Or like now, when you, like when you contacted me, I was like, this has value. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you're trending, right? You're a good interviewer. One, once you get out of your two feelings, mm. yeah, <laughs> you, you do a good job. So I'm like, this, this makes sense. And I'd contacted you before anyway. Yes, yeah. you had. Yeah, but at that time you had too much noise in your head. Mm -hmm. for you to see the direction that we're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Because even at the time, I told you, this is just content. Get out of your feelings and play the game the way it's supposed to be played. Mm -hmm. Because as much as you, we need you, we need me. So if you take me out of the equation, mm -hmm. then the whole system collapses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You can see our entertainment industry right now is bullshit. Yeah. You guys are moving from one event to the next, and there is nothing new anybody is coming up with. Mm -hmm. yeah, because there is no innovation. You cannot kill the people who are in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you take out, today if you take out lions and you look at the lions in the Masai Mara and say, oh, these lions are so evil. They kill wildebeest and buffaloes and they are so evil. And you take out the lions. What are you going to do? Mm. Yeah. Then the buffaloes become too many. They strip the land bare and it becomes a desert. So the balance has to be created. So the game of content has to get to a point where there's equilibrium, especially in Kenya, mm -hmm. because we have very talented content creators. But everybody has to play their game. Yeah. So if always talk about game, at when you find a kid in game you can do it. So you should count this breakup between you and that puny fellow of yours as a stepping stone to the next thing. Yes. You see what I mean? Yeah, so just... One step uh, uh, in front of the other. That's okay. It. Mm. So after YouTube pulled out the mini, did you try to reach them, to no, talk no. to them, or you just no. moved to no. the next? No, I was like, the way it had been done, it was a proper assassination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was so well done. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by well done? <laughs> yeah, it was so well done. You know, there was no, they went for other channels mm -hmm. that had done nothing. Like, there's a channel I used to put only car videos. I never even talked badly. 
Mm-hmm. Even that channel they put it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wana nisho nini sasa? Mhm. Hiyo channel haiko hata iko monetized. Mbona mnangu sayo channel? Mm-hmm. So even my email now mm-hmm. that I I was using I I cannot even use it to you cannot to even to do anything on YouTube. On YouTube yeah. yeah. So even my card that I was using to because uh, I had a subscription on YouTube, mm-hmm. even that was canceled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, I mean they canceled my subscription. I pay YouTube $13 a month not to watch adverts. Even that they said we don't want you uh, here. Mm-hmm. So it was a very malicious uh, targeted attack mm-hmm. by somebody who's very powerful. And I think the the corporate uh, the corporate women here mm-hmm. somebody go to them. Why are you so specific with women? I mean who, who else runs a uh, corporate uh, in corporate. Kenya? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's why uh, when a woman content creator comes out, uh, out of uh, the woodwork or these homosexuals you guys get all the the jobs mm-hmm. yeah because the women are trying to create a certain narrative the men are not making money mm-hmm. yeah this content game now in Kenya has become for women and homos mm. Mm. that's how you feel that's not how i feel it's on everywhere that's why ganothi has to keep dressing up like a woman mm-hmm. because if he doesn't he as ganothi doesn't get gigs mm-hmm. but once he puts on a dress and now becomes mama what's his name mama who <laughs> i mean all of them are dressing up like women Mm-hmm. They have to because that's where the money is because that's the corporate uh, women that's what they want to see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 just uh, rubbish. Mm-hmm. So now it's it's a high time that we come out of that nonsense and mature and start looking at entertainment for what it really is. Okay, so were you prepared for this? No, I'm never prepared for anything. Okay. Yeah. So you were never prepared that YouTube would do uh, that. No, I wasn't prepared for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't prepare for for evil because why how, how am i going to know what's what's coming yes yeah you just prepare yourself for life mm-hmm. yeah that you're always ready for whatever comes but you cannot be specific and say i'm prepared that the day youtube kicks me out i'll do this mm-hmm. yeah okay so about your new platform mm. uh how many people normally do you get uh watching do you still do the videos on the platform so we're building it right now mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a lot of work mm-hmm. It's, it's very expensive as well so right now we are, i think we have 50,000 uh, subscribers we are having about maybe between 3 to 500 videos uploaded every day mm-hmm. yeah which is a very small number but it's very good for us because we're able now to grow it the way we want mm-hmm. so now we're just tweaking it and tweaking it but it is taking a lot of time mm-hmm. yeah so i've really given a lot of my concentration to that mm. so yes. at no point you'd ever want to go back to youtube Okay. No, no. I mean because I've already made my mind, my mind up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've already ch- chosen my path. So for how long yeah. will it take to start earning money on this new platform? Probably by end of June. We have targeted by end of June mm-hmm. we should have the new platform. So what we did, the one we started with, mm-hmm. now we are revamping it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so by end of June we should have uh we should make it monetizable. Mm-hmm. So we already created a, mot- uh, a a way to monetize But now by end of June we'll have up now it will be the real platform and it will be monetizable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so people can come in and start making money. Okay. And then it's a, it's a, it's Africa wide. Mm. So we're going to market it to all countries in Africa. Mm. Yeah. You did a launch? Yes, we did a launch. Yes, I December did. 3rd. I didn't see any of you guys there. You didn't invite heart us. Heartburn. Why 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 did you have heartburn? You didn't invite You guys us. are never invited anywhere. We are yeah. invited. Personally, well, I get invitations. No, well, you guys are the uh, reporters. Why mm-hmm. do you need to be invited? There mm-hmm. is something happening there. Go report it. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you come? I was not invited. I would have cared. But you're a reporter. Mm-hmm. There was news there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'd like uh, the reason I mentioned about that is yeah. because it raised a lot of questions. People are like, you have huge uh, people who follow you on social media, but yeah. uh, the event uh, didn't turn out as. Who, who said? As we thought. Who said? It is online. But who? Where, where is that footage? Uh-huh. It's not a footage, but it had. You need speculation, Emma Fala. Uh-huh. How yeah. many people did you have? It doesn't event? matter. Bona monyali kuapo ndiyali ona value yo event yetu. So none of you guys came. Uh-huh. Yeah. So who's reporting this information? Uh-huh. But how many people did you have at the it launch? It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Who reported this information to you? Uh-huh. But we at, least, at least I don't get to my <laughs> sniper akuja apiga to, to videos. Lakini well, there are some to videos. Yes, but w- the videos that you saw are videos that are taken by people. Uh-huh. Yeah, nobody came there to say, "Hey, how many people are here? W- what were you guys doing? Uh, how did you, how was the setup? Who was there?" Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Because who was there is more important than how many were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, think about it this way. We had two people coming from South Africa. Mm -hmm. South Africa. And one of the, la uh, the lady, her name is Ngeo. And the guy's name is Makduk. Ngeo, when um, Ngeo was the one who went on stage mm -hmm. in South Africa mm -hmm. with Makduk, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To pick up, so it was Ngeo. Uh, li uh, listen to this. This is, a, this is a good one. So last year, I was nominated for Social Media Star of the Year. Yeah. South uh, Africa. Africa Social Media Star of the Year. So th through that nomination, uh, a lot of people came together on X and they pushed the nomination. Mm. And we got so many people voting and we used to do voting uh, campaigns and everything. And everybody voted for Andrew Kibbe to win the uh, Social Media Star of the Year uh, in Africa. So I did win, okay? Mm. But I was in the States at the time. I had not planned to come. So I had to send somebody. Mm. I sent a guy called Paul Moya from Uganda. So he left Uganda, mm -hmm. went to South Africa to pick up the award for me. Mm -hmm. Okay? In South Africa, he met Ngeo and Makduk. And they went on stage. And on behalf of Andrew Kibe, they picked up the most prestigious award of that event, mm. which is the Social Media uh, Star of the Year. Mm -hmm. A big, nice, uh, um, what do you call it? Is it a trophy? What do you call it? Let's call it a trophy. Mm. Yeah. So they picked that up. And now during the graduation day, MacDuke and Ngeo paid their own fare to come from South Africa to celebrate with us mm -hmm. our graduation day, which was also the launch for Africa. Mm -hmm. We had uh, a couple of people from the States flying in. We had people from Dubai. We had, uh, where else? So, so, yeah, so Qatar. So we had a couple of people coming in. So the people who came were really, really important uh, people to Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the numbers don't matter because, again, remember, I was uh, charging 25,000. Mm -hmm. Was it 20 or 25? 20. Yeah. Should have been 25. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so when you say uh, the event did not meet up, meet up to what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What plan had anybody created that they can tell us how event is supposed to look like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the main reason you came back, was it because of the event or? Yeah. I came back because of the Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so the, the event, I created the event when I, when I decided to come back. I said, Africa belongs in Africa. Mm -hmm. I cannot run it from the States. So create an event, which mm -hmm. is the graduation, and then come, launch the, the product, build it up to whatever it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at no point you're going back to the States now? I mean, if um, it's open, I can go anywhere I want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are no, like, of course, there are people who say there are restrictions, you can't go back. Restrictions? Mm -hmm. How? I don't know. Who are these people? There are many stories. First of all, mm. when you left. Nobody knew that I left. Uh -huh. So Sai you made you restrictions. Uh -huh. When you left, yeah. there was this story that I would like you actually to talk about mm. or maybe to uh, mention something mm. about it. There are so many stories that Akibe, Amikimbia, I mean the US, uh, because there's this case uh, of defilement that people always mention. Mm. And they say that you've ran away and you, you will never come back. Uh, is it something so, that so now, about? So now, let's, let's say, so they say I ran away, yes. and they say that I'll never come back. Yes. Including mm -hmm. uh, the donkey and the rest. Mm -hmm. Then I came back. Mm -hmm. So what does that say about every other story that was said about me? Mm -hmm. You call me for an interview. Mm -hmm. No. So what does that say about every other story that was said about me? So you made this whole story of the These, are, this, these are all up. lies that people peddle. Even the last the other day, wasn't he, was he, wasn't he saying that I was a pastor and I was a gym instructor? Mm -hmm. I have never been any of those. You've never been a pastor? I've never been a pastor. I've never been a gym instructor. But mm. there's one day, the pastor who <laughs> I, 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 I was, was my buddy, Alikuwa <laughs> Meleo Akiasi. So, Ange Weza Kufanya Finroll Fulani. Wait, Kiba, you've never story, been a pastor. It's a story. So, who pastor, Alikuwa the best yangu, Amenda Kalewa, Aizi Fanya Finroll. Finroll niya katoi, kame dead. So we can pick a simo can be oh we can't find the past time we need to do the funeral. Nikavaka suti. Nikenda ah you should have seen me at that uh, Langata cemetery. Oh niliomba hapo nikapatia maka salmon. Oh heavenly father. Acheza nini. Hata sasa hiyo kitaka I can preach so I studied the bible. 
Okay. Like I did a lot of Bible study. Uh -huh. But my, my closest <laughs> friend at the time was a pastor. <laughs> and he, in fact, he was the one who was blocking me from becoming a pastor. Oh, really? Yeah, I think you could see the future. Uh -huh. So yeah. you've never been a pastor? I've never been a pastor. And where did this go? So, that's seen. the thing. I've so, always believed you Nobody were a knows shit. Nobody has ever sat down with me like this mm -hmm. to have an, a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so people are going to say anything mm -hmm. until now, there is clarity. So all these stories, where are they? Mm -hmm. Where are they? Where are these stories? Where, where, where is all the drama? KRT, the donkey to Lukutana, to Kasalimiana, very cordial Eevee. No drama. Yeah. <laughs> so your drama is going to say, hey, give a minute and pick it up. It is Makelele too. Mm -hmm. So what? I mean, when I going to respond to Makelele. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So what happened is, I'll tell you um, honestly, at the time when I was going to the States, mm -hmm. I was very broke. Mm -hmm. Right? I was extremely broke. So I was looking for something. I was like, I need ideas. Mm. So at the time, I was running Rogue Radio. Yes. So I was like, I need ideas. And I talked to a friend of mine in the States. At the time, he was going through his own problem. So he told me, Kibe, please come, come, come. So you're going to visa. I told him, ah, visa and you're going to Yeah, please come. Send me my money for a ticket. I booked the ticket and I left. Mm. Yeah, so even the, when I was leaving, I did not tell anyone that I'm leaving. See, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... Mm. Uh, you've clarified about you, Mambaya Pastor. Mm. What about this whole story when you're not in a, you know, Mambaya Angoa about Parliament in Egypt? Iko api. Uh -huh. uh, Iko api your story. If you Google, uh, you'd see it. But go look for it. Uh, who has uh, reported it? Uh -huh. yes. I mean, a story is not just a story. You need to go out there and say, the story lives here. Uh -huh. It lives where? Uh -huh. Stories. Where does it live? Who is that person? Who is this person? Where is the backstory, Eve? Uh -huh. I mean, I, you're a journalist. What's all this speculation? Mm -hmm. Go back and find out what's happening here. Who's who's giving the story? Uh, where did they get the story from? Is Opija Mnonesh on his Anani? Yeah, so do your due diligence. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if you had, then you'd have found out new information, just like you're finding out right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what, where is that story? And how did those photos get online? I don't know. How did those photos get online? Mm. Yeah, how? I don't know. I have, you tell let me, me tell you, I have no problem uh. with people seeing my dick. Really? I have no problem. Uh -huh. Eh. Hey. Mira time to look on a best young star seman nani. Mira good in a palin is a I have no problem with that. Uh -huh. Yeah, but wongo ni anini. Put whatever it is that you have as evidence. Put it out here. Eh, see a picture kamoja ka dogo. And also taka twist yapo. Would you demo up in the medina e country? Uh -huh. Eve. <laughs> so, where are those stories? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't have one story and say this is who this person is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do, do, do your background check and do some due diligence. Okay, going yeah. back to this pastor, mm -hmm. you being a pastor and everything. Me not being a pastor. Uh, mm -hmm. Now people should know Kibe mm -hmm. has never been a pastor. I've always thought you are a pastor. Uh, what is your belief on religion? You said you started uh, Bible study and everything. What do you think about uh, religion? What is your take on religion? I think there's a value. Re religion has has a place in our society. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I used to think I was very annoyed at religion at the beginning mm -hmm. because I saw the lies. But then I look back and I said, you know, everybody gets something from somewhere. I talk to Namda King Sabina Joy when he's African name Jinga, but there's some value he's getting from from there. Mm -hmm. So everybody gets value in everything that they do. Mm -hmm. So who am I to tell people what to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. if I find out for myself, religion is bullshit. Then it's just me and the people who listen to me. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to go to the top of the mountain and tell people, oh, you know what? I don't believe. So for me these days, I do not want to have to believe in anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to believe in anything. Mm. Yeah. So, so you're not a believer. I of what? Mm. For you to believe means you have to go into your imagination. For you imagine right now, start thinking Jesus walked on water. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> you know, man, Shanin. I must say, there's a guy called Jonah who was in the belly of a, a whale for three days. What does that mean? Where, where are those stories in, a, in our modern uh, Africa? Mm -hmm. Where are those stories? They don't exist. So I don't have to believe in anything. Mm. It, things that I, I am a guy of, I know. Mm. Yes. What I know is what I, I discuss. Mm -hmm. Yes. Looking at our country, mm. go, uh, you've seen stories where people have gone to the extent of starving themselves just because of religion. I love those people. Uh -huh. And they should all die. <laughs> yeah? Everybody who starves yourself because of religion or you do all these things, die. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, I love it. Uh -huh. I, and I wish they could do a lot more of that. Uh -huh. yeah. 
So you wouldn't. Uh, I will never stop you. Me, I don't go now. I don't book the Russia. Me to me to number pin number in Pesa. That's it. Yeah, go die. Okay, you've mentioned mm. that you leaving uh, to go to the state that you broke. Mm. And uh, now you're back here. Mm. I'd like to know, is it that you made enough and you want to come and uh, concentrate oh, no, with your no, platform? No, no. There, there, there's, there's never enough. Mm. There's never enough. At least not for me. Mm. Yeah, so there's never enough. I'm never in a position where I say, oh my God, look at this. There's all this abundance. No, I'm always working on a project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. That's my life. And I'm coming to terms with that. I'm mm. always having, there's always something I'm putting my money in. So I love it. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming now to terms with that and understanding. But... My money will always be project money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm here and I'm here to work on Africa and that's all that I care about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, previous, uh, we've seen you uh, try to run for a seat, a politician yes. seat. Yes, yes. I would like to know, is it something that you still dream of? In 2027, are we seeing you vie for Langata seat? Are you going to uh, compete with Jalas probably? If somebody puts money in my pocket, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm not doing it with my chins. Mm. Mm. Does it mean when you tried it didn't work well? Oh, it didn't work. I was beaten like a thief. Nili potesa e nili kwa number three six man. Na zeo kila malu atemi mo number. Mhesh, mhesh, ma umbo ao. Ah, never ever. Mhesh, mhesh, mhesh. Na kila dawa na so so mbil. Never ever. Where so, this dream came of, came from? Well, the dream uh -huh. of you being a politician. Well, if you guys don't know shit, <laughs> I used to be the campaign manager to a presidential candidate. Okay. Uh, called uh, James Olekiapu. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, I was boardroom, I was like, strategies. I was like, no, I was like, strategies. I was like, hey, this is Leo, we're going to do this, we're going to post this, we're going to do this. We even did a very big fundraising for him. So, one day I looked at this guy and I was like, this guy is full of shit. Yeah. He's like telling us, you know, I don't have to campaign, God is going to give me the seat. And I was like, this is, this is where I walk out. I never went back. Yeah. <laughs> as long as God is in the picture, I, I cannot do anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I left that fucker. And um, when I left, I was like, why would do it for somebody else? And I can use those strategies for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then that's when I went to, uh, there's a, is it UDP? UDF. Mm -hmm. So I went to Mudava, I looked for the, for the most puny uh, <laughs> party. <laughs> Yeah, where well, I knew if I get there, honey, I'm going to be a big dog. I'm going to UDF. <laughs> UDF. <laughs> UDF, I can see story when I was a choker. What can be a nomination in 50K? I saw 50K. I need 50K. I'm going to go best. I'm going to go back. 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 I'm going to These people are so busy. I'm going to get a check. Can you know what I'm going to get a check? Yeah, 50K. Account haina kitu, haina lolote. Wali chukwa check if you can pati a nomination yangu. Nini kenda? They never called me, I never called them. I went to the polls. The person you're seeing here has been on the polls. Picha angu ilu kwa hapo. When people was, eh, na nika pata, I think I got 1,700 votes or something. I tried. Yeah. Ah, fuck that. Try. So I live in about 1,700 Naizima. I get to a kuna watu. This nonsense. Yeah. So yes, so that's, that's what happened. And I, I realized that I cannot use my money mm. to, to do this. Mm. So if, if um, I'm popular enough and uh, I get somebody else's money, then I will do it gladly. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I, I still see... I, I, I like that game. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like that game. Okay. I'm beginning to understand it better. I was very bitter. I was very bitter with everybody who never saw things my way. Mm -hmm. But now I'm beginning to understand that it's all just a game, including mm -hmm. this game of content. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, me and you would not be sitting here. Mm -hmm. Or you and I, would we? No. Yeah, I'm even sh shocked. You, you have behaved like a man. You have a masculine energy mob. You have a masculine energy mob. Yeah, so that, that's, that's where I'm at. Okay. Mm. So, uh, if you have somebody to sponsor, you'd still go for Langata. If Langata, why? I would be a spoiler. I just want to go spoil Jalas's chances. Why? Yeah, yeah. Because Jalas said some shit about me that wasn't true. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. so I, would, I would just want to, to go shit on his campaign. Mm, does it yeah. mean you're bitter? Why would you feel bad? No, I mean, it's, it's a game. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, I would just want to go shit on him. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Even the diamond. Uh, Even at, if there are some things you say about people that are not true, maybe. Like which one? I don't know. I could like to go some of you. I'm to see you. So what did he say about you? Uh, no, he, he he said that uh, the only thing I can sell is condoms. Mm -hmm. I, I'm like I can sell anything. And then he said, uh, you know, he, he really went hard on me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so Langata is a good place because I've lived in Langata all my, almost all my life. So if I'm going to stand somewhere then it has to be Langata. So it's not really about Jalas. Mm. Because I, I was there before even Jalas decided to stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if I'm going to go back, I'm just going to go back to Langata. But it's, it has nothing to do with Jalas. Mm -hmm. Jalas and I are, are cordial. Mm. Yeah. And what do you think about uh, the work that he's doing in Langata? I, I, I don't know. I, I've, not seen, I've not seen what he's doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I've not been to Langata to, to see what he has done. Mm -hmm. So I, I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. But, but but I know Unujo Awa they are very hard working. So I know he's probably doing a, a, a lot of good work. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, would, I, I wouldn't fault him, but I, would, I have nothing to say because I don't know. I've not even tried to see what the work that he's doing. Uh -huh. No, I don't. That means you really don't have interest of going back to maybe trying to see it. I told you I don't. If, if I cannot do it with my own money, mm -hmm. why why would I have interest? I don't have really interest. Mm -hmm. I just know that wh whatever it is that I do is always going to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know that. So even if I decide to become president, I don't have to know all the counties or constituencies. Mm -hmm. I just know that once you get the job, then you'll figure it out once you're there. Mm -hmm. mm. So where you are right now, mm -hmm. you you just decided to that content is what you're going to do, mm -hmm. just content creation. Yes. I've, I've always wanted to be in, in 19, I think. Mm. I applied to go to the UK to study film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the, the day that I was going for the interview at the, air, at the embassy, there was a bomb scare somewhere in the UK. So they closed the, the whole embassy. And I couldn't go in. And I'd been there from midnight. You know those days? There was no appointment. There was you get to the embassy first. And then they'll see you one after the other. So I got there at midnight, and I was number five. Okay, mm. there were already four people before me, mm. and then I spent the whole night there, upper upper hill, mm. cold. Pombe kaisha kwa system, niko nimeshika to documents hivi njoni ingie asubui wakasema we cannot see people today. There's been a bomb scare, and uh, come back another day. And I didn't have the energy to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I let that dream go, and I. Now look for something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right now you're focusing. So on so, so now what, why I was telling you that is because for me content is just not it's not just content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, content is everything. Content is how we think. <coughs> so if you can give people content of in, like a movie is content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even uh, what's, what's this guy's name? The guy who does good movies. Ule msemu ita mkunduazi na ita nanta. Mkurugenzi. Abel. Abel. Okay. You see. So even Abel, you see, he, he does content. You sit there, talk about other people's stories. So content is, is diverse. Mm. Yeah. So if one thing doesn't work out, you get something else to hold you on till the day you have the strength to go back to this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I still think there's a big opportunity for film. So even for Africa, we're going to have the Africa movies. Yeah. I still think there's a big opportunity for um, news from people, direct. Like now, if you see something, you report it and put it on the African news. Mm. Uh, I still see an opportunity for uh, training, education. So there are so many things. Africa is like a virgin. The possibilities here are crazy. And the only way you can see them mm. is from outside. So when I was outside, and I, every day I just kept seeing new opportunities. And I'm like, I can't wait to land in that bridge. Mm -hmm. mm. So there are things that you've been working on when you're here? Every day. Okay. Yes, what about day. Rock Radio? Uh, Rock Radio is still going on. I rebranded it to AndrewKibeRadio.live. Okay. Yes. And it's vibrant as fuck. Mm -hmm. Every morning I have a show. Every morning. Mm -hmm. A four-hour show. Mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. Yes. So that is still working like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is still... Uh, radio has always been my... my it, it doesn't make me money, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't make me even a shilling. In fact, I spend more money on, on radio than on anything else. But I love it because... I find it to be a very powerful medium. Mm. And the day I die, that's what you guys are going to be listening to. We'll go back. So we have seen that even with other content creators that once they pass on, mm. we wish there was more 
of their content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for me, I find it like I take it like an archive. I archive all my ideas every morning. Mm. I sit, turn on my mic, turn on my machines, and I disappear into the world of radio. I still think radio is a very powerful medium. Mm -hmm. Yes, very powerful. So that, that, that is still my baby. Okay. Mm. So right now, mm. the kind of content that you're creating, are you still going on with the same content that you, you used to create uh, on YouTube, uh, talking about uh, celebrities here and there, or you doing something? No, you guys became boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys became boring. So there's, not, <laughs> no, there's nothing really new to report. Mm. Because even when that thing happened with you, we still have archive footage that can answer some of those questions. Mm -hmm. yeah, so there's not really much happening. So why would I turn on my camera and start talking about things that I've already talked about? How, how much more am I going to beat Ganothia? Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Is he still with that bitch of his? I don't know. <laughs> She's not being very honest about this. Who, who's her manager? <laughs> I so, don't so, know. so you are now, willing to sit with KLG the donkey and talk about me, huh? but you're not willing to talk about Ganothia with me. I don't know whether they're still together. I mean, I don't know. How can I be sure about somebody? Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. People can lie. They are together and they're not. People can be together. We don't know. But you're the one who's supposed to have the scoop. Eh? Mm -hmm. You're the one who's supposed to have everything to know what's happening. Why do you owe these people? Mm -hmm. Why are you feeling like you owe them? Why? What, what's, what's going on here? But the discussion with me next year is not uh, related no, to... No, it doesn't matter. Why do you feel like you owe them? You're a reporter. You don't owe anybody shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. You owe the people who are watching. Not the people we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so why do you owe them? When there's a story to be talked about, we're a story up at Wichambue. Come on, you call them and you won't go. That's what these cameras are for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if there's uh, something we've said that is not right, then now you can run with that to the donkey or to whoever other idiot out there who wants to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And then you come, so just build story on story on story. Mm -hmm. But don't back off. Mm -hmm. huh? Why are you backing off? Eh? I'm not backing off. Mm. Yeah. I'm so, saying... so which other story don't you want us to talk about? I don't have uh, stories that I don't want us to talk about. Uh -huh. Just that, how do I know? You know, it's like, I don't know. Even I mean, but, but if Nairobi Gossip Club can say, uh -huh. hey, um, <laughs> Eve and Trevor have unfollowed each other. Uh -huh. Then we are like, oh shit! Now we start talking. Uh, uh -huh. Eve and Trevor have deleted photos of each other. Oh shit! This is going down. Uh -huh. You, you don't want us to have that about the Ganodias. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why are you protecting them? I'm not protecting anyone. Uh -huh. I just don't have the information. You don't have the information. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I believe you, by the way, hundred percent. You do. A hundred percent. But you, do you have information about them? Maybe. You are telling us that the talking about celebrities and everything got boring. It got boring because, I mean, it's just the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then there are no new celebrities who are being created. We have like five celebrities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have to wait for you guys to do something so ridiculously stupid for it to make sense. Mm -hmm. so beyond, beyond what I did for the two and a half years, what else is there to do? Mm -hmm. mm. So it's something that you... So I, I moved on and I, I, I went to the uh, politicians. Okay, and I've I, seen you. I, yes. So I believe politicians have uh, are the next phase of, of my progression. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have like different faces? I mean, I was on the rooftop at one point. Do you think you'll ever see me on the rooftop again? Mm -hmm. Do you think I'll go to the rooftop to start again? No, I no. can't. Those are progression. So that's a different phase. So for two and a half years, I sat in my studio, in my home studio, by the way, mm -hmm. right? And I did videos every day. By the time I was done, I think I had 3,600 videos. Mm -hmm. Every day, I did a video. In fact, when I started, I used to do even uh, Saturday and Sunday. I started burning out. So then I, sa I said, Friday is the last day. Uh, once I'm done with my shoot on Friday, I go, I a pool, Angalia Wanawake, white, white women with nice teeth but flat ass, mm -hmm. and, you know, <laughs> go back home and, you know, just live my life. Mm -hmm. Simple. Mm -hmm. So I had a very simple life. I was able to do everything that I had thought in my mind that I could do with that platform. Mm -hmm. And I got where I was getting. I mean, I, and I got where I got. Mm -hmm. So for me, that was a victory. I, I, I won. I dominated that sector. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now there's a new thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we've mm -hmm. seen uh, among some things that have been trending is uh, the story of Betty and, and Steve a Simple Boy. And I saw you uh, comment on it. And yesterday we saw them on the lakes. 
what do you think about the whole thing? <laughs> I, I mean, uh, you know, you know, someone like Betty five years ago, nobody had access to her. Mm-hmm. Mm. Today, I mean, she was streets. Maka, Steve, I'm a kutana. Steve, either I'm a rise, I'm a Betty, I'm a shuka. To a point where I'm a kutana. I, even if it is for content. Mm. Yeah, that is pure bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why would Betty meet Steve or Simple Boy? That's not an organic meeting. So it's just for content. And what kind of content is that? There is no st- good story that's going to come out of that. Mm-hmm. There is no, nothing trending. The only trending thing is that they met. Whatever they discuss, nothing. We'll never get to know because it's useless. We know. It's like when we saw you and your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. We used to know that he's too, too small for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you see Steve or Simple Boy and uh, what's her name, <laughs> but we know it's, a, it's just a gimmick. Who has time for gimmicks? Isn't it, what, what do they call him? Kiki. Mm-hmm. Cloud. Cloud. It's just cloud. Mm. And then what kind of cloud is it? Even size wise. Betty ni mkubwa, haka ka puni ni kadogo hivi. Alafu sasa mataka saa situ kaya hapo chini tuonge, tunonge nini. I cannot talk about that rubbish. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's total, I, I, I have no time for that. So now that's the content. Uh-huh. So mbisa mini kaya chini ni onge. Uh-huh. Hey, mumuona Steve was simple boy. Uh-huh. Puny. I don't do that shit anymore. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, so right now you're focusing on uh, politicians. Uh, what about maybe the audience that you created that loved what you were doing? Mm. Does it mean they have to move on? They have, they have to grow up, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, if they don't grow up, then that's, they'll be left behind. Uh-huh. Yeah, because this is still me. This is just a new thing that I'm doing. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you have to either mature with me to the next level, or we leave you behind. I love to talk about English. I don't want Sabato. What's that guy's name? Sabato. Uh, he's called Sabato. There's a guy. Yeah, he's called that. Sabato, right? Yeah, yeah then Sabato now will, will sit on my chair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a big bad ogre. Yeah, now then they'll give you the stories that you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so maybe so the people who are going to mature because even when I left um, the rooftop, it was the same thing. Mm-hmm. Till today, I meet people. Ah, when are you going to give us those videos from the rooftop? From the rooftop. So they don't exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was me then. All right, where were we? Uh, we were talking about you not going back to doing the co- same content that you're doing, you've grown and your audience have to grow. They have to, yes, they have to grow with me. Okay, does it mm. mean all the YouTube channels we see under your name, they're not yours? Oh, no, I'm not on YouTube. You're not on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. So, in fact, I'm going to sue YouTube mm. because <laughs> they were disingenuous. Mm. Because they told me that my content did not meet community guidelines. Mm-hmm. But other people... But you said they didn't tell you. I mean, that's, that's the... The, the, the need. Okay. Yes, that's what they gave me as, as an email. Mm. Yeah, so I got an email. Telling me all community guidelines, what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. But other people can put up my content. Yeah, we've seen it. Yeah, yeah, so there are many other channels that are benefiting largely because people think those are my channels. And I, I cannot put my content there. So it means that uh, it was, there's another, there's something, there's a reason behind why they took me out. Mm-hmm. So I want to know what that reason is. Mm. So you've thought about Because, I mean, these guys are t- taking my live videos. My one and a half, two hour videos. Yeah, we've seen that in in, Babu. Yeah, and Only they internet. put it up. No censoring, no nothing. So YouTube had no problem with my content. You see my point? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had a problem with me. So I will have to sue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to sue all these bitches here in uh, Kenya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll sue them and close that office. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it something that you've thought about or you just... Uh, no, I've actually thought about it. Mm-hmm. You've been seeing the content on YouTube? I've been seeing it, yes, and it, it pains me to my ass every time I see that they, they it was, it confirms to me every time that it was malicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was not genuine. If it was a genuine, me be kicked out, I would have no problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, maybe on to our last question. Mm. When you came back, you posted a photo. Why is it the last question? Why are you asking? <laughs> I still have questions. You still have questions? Yeah. You want to ask? Yeah, let's go with your last question. Right? Okay, yeah. so uh, you posted a photo of you and your kids on X. Mm. And uh, of 
because they were the actions, your fans, uh, the people who follow you, uh, some of them felt like uh, you've been misleading the, commu- the community that follows you. Mm. Uh, they felt like uh, maybe you've betrayed them. Others felt like you shouldn't show us the photos of your kids. Like, I'd like to know, what is your relationship uh, with your kids? And uh, what is your thought about marriage? Is it something that you're looking uh, forward to again? Mm. No, no, no. Uh, ma- marriage is, is a waste of time, so I, I don't want, I have no intention of ever getting married again. Mm-hmm. At least for me. Yeah. There's a certain character of man that can get married. I am not that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Why, what do you mean it's a waste of time? It's a waste of time because uh, you cannot be in this content game and have somebody who uh, is not. Mm-hmm. So, plus again, think about it. Mm-hmm. And you have to go move from one to the next. There's too much going on for you to have somebody who at now is waiting for you at home. Mm-hmm. No. And I have been actually, um, I don't use the word marriage because it's not, it's not real marriage. Mm. But I've had two very serious relationships. Mm-hmm. In your was, life? Yes. Mm. Two very serious relationships where I was living with the women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I know I'm not good for it. I'm not a good husband. <laughs> yeah. You've come to some to you. <clears throat> yes. Now I'm not a good husband because me, mm-hmm. Imagine you cannot live that free if you have somebody that you've said I do to. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I have no intention of getting married. As for my kids, my kids have never been a secret. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why, why, why is that a problem? Mm-hmm. Anybody who doesn't know about my kids then doesn't know my content. I've talked about them on all my, vid- not even my videos, even at the time I was on the rooftop, I used mm-hmm. to talk about them. Mm-hmm. So, so it's not a secret. The secret is to the people who have uh, what we call red pill rage. Mm-hmm. The ones who are, are still annoyed about having been dumped. Like if you get dumped by a woman or a woman comes and takes you out, then you have this anger that you feel towards women. I don't have that anger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You so you don't have anger towards women? I don't have anger towards anyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why would I? I love women. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah, I love them. I cannot stay away from them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In fact, I have to slow down my, my system to stay away from women. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I, I do love women. What I don't like is bullshit. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter who's uh, showing us the bullshit. Bullshit is bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I have no problem with women. Mm. Mm. So uh, what about people who always feeling like you're trying to fight women, your content is all... No, why would I fight women? I've never even whipped a woman, you know that, mm-hmm. on my show. Mm. You always whip men. Men, whips are for men. Mm-hmm. Yeah, women, we give them dick. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> whips are for men. Mm-hmm. So I've never whipped a, a woman because uh, the way we deal with men and the way we deal with women is very different. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you believe there are people who are meant for marriage, but not people like you? Yeah, you have to be those indoctrinated guys, the guys who believe in the Bible, the guy who be, people who believe in education. You know, those guys who are system people, they believe in marriage. People who are in content are not system people. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's why your marriages cannot work. <laughs> yeah. Kila kitu mnajaribu ina collapse. Water. I'm telling you, just so you point, out, point out to any content creator, uh-huh. their marriage is going to come to an end. Uh-huh. Yes. That's, so everybody, every content creator, the marriage is going to come to an end. I mean, just think about it. Uh-huh. Once you, like now if you do this video, uh-huh. I mean once you upload it, you're going to get a whole group of people interested in you. Uh-huh. Yes. How is your boyfriend supposed to survive that? <laughs> How is a man supposed to survive seeing your bitch getting messages every second? You lose your mind as a man. Because oh, you're really? not built for, of course. Particular sound. Hey, Eve, is it okay if I. Ah! <laughs> ah! So, a man cannot handle that. A man cannot handle a woman mm. have, get, getting that much attention. Mm-hmm. So, so, if, you, if you, a woman is on the attention streets, is it just a name? So, you believe uh, we women, the content uh, creation space, the online space, we can never get into marriage? No, you cannot. Mm-hmm. You guys are our hoes now. Yeah. You know, because you find an anime. Mm. Yeah, like a dame, come and talk a juicy, come and could dance to TikTok. Pale, I put out dance up. Okay. See, archives gonna hear Macmillan Library. Up when you get a dame, come and come, I'm gonna to hips on India inbox. Hey, do you do a little way? Cuz I sell, can you come for two t shirts and 50,000 bob? Meanwhile, can you sit on this dick? <laughs> That's what we do. 
Alafu sasa unamrusha back into the into gen pop. Alafu sasa anapata second tier. Mhm. Eh. Huyo ana tupo tena anapata third tier. Mm. Yeah. But 15 people in marriage who are in this stage like, like wahu and nimless. Yeah, wahu, wahu and nimless go into the game before social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the only way they manage to stay together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they probably have a very good arrangement from the beginning because wahu is not a, a blonde. Wahu is a very intelligent woman. Mm-hmm. If you know anything about wahu, wahu was studying mathematics in campus. Mm-hmm. Double math. Vitu hata watu hajui na maanisha nini. This other guy is a is a full architect. So these two when they came together they came together minus us. Like it is you guys are coming together on the internet. Tutawa pepetia madai mwenye mbaya. I hope you guys are here. Which camera that one? So yeah, that's that's the thing. So the the internet game belongs to the internet people. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's why Wahoo and Nameless are not very successful on the internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this is not their game. Their game was uh, music. But what wame anza hapo kwa internet lazima mu break up but we've seen like yeah. people like bahati and diana have been together for what, a while what, now. what kind of twisted useless relationship is that one mm-hmm. come on tell me somebody else mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but they've been together for a while oh, please this uh, let, let, let's put it out maybe yeah. you see like bahati's uh, wife kabahanya his his wife was a nobody before Bahati introduced her to us. Mm-hmm. We didn't know her. What has she done? Mm-hmm. No, honestly, what has she done? Can you remember any of her songs? She was not an artist. Exactly, but she has sung a few songs, right? Yes. So you cannot remember those songs because she's not an artist, she's not a musician. What is she? Is she a content creator? No, we knew her because Kabahanye told us, this is my wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and all the drama that she does, she does around him. Same thing with Ganothia's wife. She was not a, a content creator we knew. Mm. The only way we got to know her is through the talented Mr. Ganothia. So you, you get my point? Mm. Yeah, so there are a lot of people who we didn't know, including Trevor. So the only way we knew about Trevor was you. Mm-hmm. And if Trevor had any manners and remained behind the camera, then that partnership would never have collapsed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the relationships that are online that have been made online will have to get destroyed online. <laughs> and we shall be there for all of it. We shall be watching with a drubin. Wame unfollow. Oh, uka na ke. Washa camera sasa. Ame unfollow mwingine. So that's the game. That's the game. But you don't say anything about my shirt by the way. You know it's, it's very it's, women are supposed to compliment, you know, men who are like. Uh. Mm. Why didn't you say anything about my shirt? What about it? I mean, you should have said something. I what? wore this for Sonko. Uh-huh. Mm. I call him Bosco. Uh-huh. So what about it? <laughs> it's, a, it's original. I, oh. I, I, I bought it in Dubai. Very expensive. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, so I was supposed to compliment At him. At least you should have said something. Huh? What else? You can say, talk about my shoes. These are also very good shoes. What is your shoe size? Ah, don't you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell them about it. Tell them. <laughs> tell the world. They may not be able to see it, but tell them. <laughs> uh, Bongila size 12, pal. <laughs> Uh, uh, I am not your regular kikuyu. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> I think kuna masai litembea kwa boma yetu. Kuna ndume masai litembea. So yes. Uh-huh. Uh, what else do you want to know from me? I've got it enough. Mm. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. So my advice to you is now that you're going into this direction. Uh-huh. Now you're free. You're free to chat your way. Uh-huh. Okay? So make sure you get both sides of the story. That's how a real journalist gets uh, the scoop mm-hmm. always at the beginning you were very good you used to run back and forth before i think to do to and to come ama to spawn you you are very good ukona kimbia mbio tu kwa tunajua tunaenda kwa eve kujua story pale iko so don't allow these guys to pull you into this gossip shit and this this useless stories that have no msingi find out the story and ask the real questions do not be afraid to ask the questions always go for the story It doesn't matter who you're sitting with mm. because we saw your trajectory we saw it we were like this chick is the next big thing and then somehow along the way i don't know what happened even now you became like a socialite i was like <laughs> shit we lost a good one there <laughs> uh, i mean because we were depending on you but uh, this 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 is a good move for you i, I 
wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. uh, guys. No, no, we're not done yet. Uh -huh. yeah. So, are you guys completely done with travel? Yeah, we are. Is it true that you guys um, you stopped seeing each other last year, March? No. So, Mona, listen, I don't know. I believe he's that in the best position to answer that. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's the character you brought me here today. Mm -hmm. No. See, I've answered your question. I'm asking you about something that is directly related to you. But he's the one who said that. Why would that. he say that you guys stopped seeing each other in March? He has his own reasons that I don't know. Well, I wouldn't want to talk much about it, but what I can say is it's a whole lot of so many things. Yeah, And it was meant to just come to an end. Is it because he, he could not afford to buy you a dining table? <laughs> of course, that's not a factor. What do you mean? But you put it out there into the world and you said you want a dining table. Oh. I don't know to talk about Sultan Flani. That was but he was But he, he, he was not on your level. At least maybe at the beginning, maybe, when mm -hmm. you were still, uh, you know, how come it was to hips. So, but it was a flat run. And after that, it was a to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you don't know what happened between the two of you. Is that what you're saying? No, I know. It's, but it's a who whole was cheating? Lot. You or him? It's a whole lot of so many. Things. I suspect you are the one who was cheating. You, you might be wrong or right. <laughs> well, because there's a there's a time mm -hmm. I even did that video mm -hmm. where he was talking to this guy saying, "Oh, you're coming from my house at this time. Why are you doing this to me?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what was that about? I wouldn't want to talk about my client. That is my client. Ah, it's your client. Yeah. Your client was Pepita, you know? Nothing like that. I think I mean, is, they is, probably is, had their own issues. Mm. Yeah. But you were right in the center of that. I and you don't know anything that was happening. I don't. <laughs> so you have now taken a step back from uh, being a content creator to now being the Eve, the, the journalist. Yes. You've seen how dangerous this other side is. Mm -hmm. Have you? Because I saw a, 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 a video of you in, in, uh, mm -hmm. running on the beach to, to, to diabs everywhere. Who's that other chick, by the way? She's my friend. Is she in Nairobi? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at those diabs. I was like, ah, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Who's this other guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, she's in the game, right? I know. In the content game. Ha, no, mm. she's not. So why did you do a video with her? Because she's my friend. No, but you wanted to show Diabs. <laughs> no, we so were enjoying life. So you were selling Diabs at that time. <laughs> no, yeah. we were enjoying life. Yeah, you were selling Diabs. You were like, hey, guys, uh, I'm done with that puny. These Diabs are on offer. No. <laughs> Let us run to the beach. Very nice. Very nice. I'll even tell no. my editor, please make sure you put that video on, in this, yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah, just put that part of Eve running in the beach and that other girl. Very nice. Is she Kikuyu? No, she's Lou. Ah, uh, Lou. I, I can't stand Lou. <laughs> Why? Mi, mi, mi Why? Mm, I think in all my life I've had maybe five or six Lou's. How many beaches have you had? Oh, too many. Come on. Come on, Eve. How many? How many? <laughs> you, do you know your body count? Yes. But you can remember it, uh, Mark, Matthew, yes. Paul, Andrew. Hmm? Yeah. You remember your body count? Yeah. Oh. H how old are you now? I'll turn 24 in March. I probably stopped counting when I got to maybe like 30. Mm -hmm. mm. And I'm 47 now. I love with Juanini. Mm -hmm. Before I go to 30, I was a nobody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 30, I was a nobody. So ni kwa naingia tu chop money chop money <laughs> madema hapa tamasha nilikuwa na dinya ni aje kwa gari nani very nice so you imagine utoke hapo i go through a 10 10 year stint of being in church 30 to 40 40 i leave church and i get into this new stardom mm -hmm. of uh, social media what do you mean you leave church i was in church for 10 years what were, oh, so from 30. the time i was 30 to the time I got to 40. What were you doing in church? I mean, I was being a church guy. I was not a pastor. I remember okay. we discussed that. Yes. So I was just <laughs> being a church guy. I really wanted to be successful in church. And uh, I helped this pastor actually start a church mm -hmm. with my money. So I was Mr. Moneybags. Mm -hmm. So I was a church. I was a 
<laughs> yeah? Nika kasirika, nika toka. Mikaanza sasa social media. Social media nika anza kumikdo. Alafu sasa nika itua sasa ma radio stations. And then, whoosh, mm-hmm. the career took off. Okay, so... So now, what we imagine? Mimi ni mse, ni mekuwa niki kula madeo maroi saamu. Yeah? Utu tupoko tuwa mwiki na inako. Unujo inako? Yeah. yeah. I've had it. You've had of umoja inako? Yes. Umoja inako? Yes. Yeah. Mm. I've had it. Ah, yeah. So I, I get into 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 stardom and I don't realize that I am a star or I am a celebrity. Na bado mimi nikadinya. So when you ambiza your time ya nime realize nimefika kama demo ngapi? Mhm. Eh. So when you ambia body count utakumbuka body count kweli? Body count ni ya madem. Ah. Na machana wazazi wangu swali za ujina kai hizo. Mhm. So wewe ukipata dem lazima umulize. Apana, I don't care. Okay. Because I, I don't want anything to do with her beyond uh, the sex. Oh. Yeah. What else are we doing? I don't, I don't do business with women. Uh-huh. You don't do business no, with I women? No, I don't do business with women. Why? Because they tend to fall for for me. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, but it's obvious. Uh-huh. How long are you going to do business with me before you start feeling some, some type of way? Mm. When women meet masculine men, they have to fall for them. Upendo usipende. Mm-hmm. So at some point, that business has to collapse. And any man who knows uh, his worth should never do business with women. It's mm-hmm. very difficult. You wouldn't advise that? No, I wouldn't advise that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even employing women is also another problem. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, you mean so I, I try to stay from, all, with all my dealings, I try to stay away from employing women as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So w- women have their place, but I, I, I do not see... The, the emotional aspect of a woman is, is what makes me take a step back. It's what you can't handle yourself. Because the business does not need it. Okay. Yeah, business does not need you to be emotional. Mm-hmm. If you became emotional, we'd never have this interview. So in all your team, your businesses, you don't have any woman that's working? I don't deal directly with women. Mm-hmm. So there may be a woman in my organization, but I don't deal with her directly. Okay, so yeah. what about your show that you said it includes politicians? You have so many politicians that are women yeah. are you going to have them on your show as well yeah i mean they are politicians if they have anything important that they want to say i have no problem with that mm-hmm. i'm not dealing with her on, on a personal level it's just an inter- just like what we're doing mm-hmm. yeah so it's not a big deal what i what i ha- have a problem with is that close interaction between um, a man and a woman in business because at the end of the day at some point to emotions to gear. Mm-hmm. so unless a woman maybe a lesbian Maybe one of these strong lesbians, Kama mm-hmm. Makena. Mm. That one you can work with. Yeah, Makena, I've met her. We had a very good time with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As long as she do- doesn't fall for me. As you talk with lesbian, I come to Kumoja, I'm a kanguo kafupia, and you say, oh, just for tonight, I want to hang my lesbianism. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> so are we done with you, with you and your stories? Yes. Yeah. How did you feel when you were trending? Was it pressure? No, I was ready for it. I knew it would. I knew it was to happen. Were you ready for him to give that statement? We, we no longer need her services. Her services are no longer needed. I mean, you guys were fucking. That was why, 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 would, why would you write that, all that shit? Uh-huh. I mm. don't know. Maybe it makes me feel better. That immaturity now you, you've seen, eh? I saw it a long time ago. So next time you go for a man, you go for a man who's not in the limelight, mtu wakuna do, mtu atuta wayona. Because watu tuna wana hapa hivi, we'll poison them. Mm-hmm. So you go for someone who wants you, who will never see, and who will bankroll all this shit that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, thank you. Uh, Why are you running? You still have more questions. <laughs> I have another show. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm done. Okay. I'm done, yeah. uh, So guys, uh, it has been the Mungai A show. Uh, we had Andrew Kibe. I hope you guys have enjoyed the conversation. And I hope you give me that subscription. It would really mean a lot. Oh, uh, wait, wait. So you're starting from zero? Yes. Is this the first thing that, uh, are you going to advertise it? Yeah, but this is the first video. So have you set up a channel and everything? Yes. And how many subs do you have so far? I have not, put, I'm supposed to put out the channel out and then upload your video. No way. Yeah. So now that's what you're going to do. That's yeah. the work that you guys are going to do. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. All right. Yeah, it has been good. It was nice uh, meeting you and uh, I, I, I hope you maintain this consistency. Give us as many videos as possible. Go back to doing that thing that you love doing. And uh, let's see where you go with this shit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, thank you so much. All I right. really appreciate uh, for coming. 
and guys uh, make sure you subscribe it will really mean a lot i know we can do this guys we did it and we can do it even much better till next time bye bye